The 90 Day Fiancé franchise has featured dozens of international couples over the years. While some duos reconciled after splits, or never broke up in the first place, other former couples have called things quits since filming franchise content. Discover which franchise couples have found love apart from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise and TLC cameras. When it comes to dating after breakups, numerous 90 Day Fiancé franchise singles were given another public opportunity to pursue love on 90 Day. The Single Life Franchise Bill and Colt Johnson saw romance blossom with Vanessa Guerra, while Big Ed Brown got together with Liz Woods. Meanwhile, Fernanda Flores has since moved on with Noel Mikaelian after airing her failed dating escapades on the first season. In addition to franchise cast members seeking love on other spin-off shows, some cast members have sought relationships with people in the franchise. After splitting from Andrew Kenton, Amira Lalis has surprised viewers by seemingly dating David Murphy. Meanwhile, Jennifer Darazona and Jesse Meester started dating on The Single Life after separately appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days with their exes. However, other former franchise faces have found love in the real world, away from the cameras. Brazilian beauty Jess Caroline infamously dumped Colt on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after? After Larissa Lima's ex-husband cheated on her with his now estranged wife, Vanessa. Fortunately, Jess has found her own happy ending outside of the franchise. She married Brian Hanby after just a few months of dating. Her husband appears to treat her how she deserves, which has given Jess happiness and confidence. Jordan native Yaz and Abu Harira shared a messy relationship with dramatic Florida resident Brittany Banks on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way. Brittany did not respect Yazin's conservative culture, which contributed to their split. Yazin has since moved on from Brittany as he moved on to marry his partner Lena last July. The young American woman seems to suit Yazin's lifestyle far more than dramatic Brittany. Season 7 couple Juliana Custodio and Michael Jessen announced their split last October on their second wedding anniversary. Though Michael blamed the surprise breakup on Juliana meeting someone new, the Brazilian model clapped back and accused Michael of mistreating her. Julia has since moved on after meeting Ben Obscura in Germany. The couple surprised fans late last year by announcing that they are expecting their first child together. Shortly after, the young duo became engaged. Related, 90 Day Fiancé, the most successful before the 90 Days relationships unlike many other franchise splits, the divorce between season 2 couple Ymir Castillo and Chelsea Nasek lack vitriol or public drama. The couple split up in 2017 while Nicaragua native Yamir chose to stay in the United States after the divorce. American Chelsea has since remarried. Chelsea is now happily married to Daniel Colombo Verni and appears to be enjoying her life away from TLC. Abbey Street Jermaine appeared alongside Sean Hiller on Before the 90 Days Season 1. The couple got a lot of flack from fans due to Haitian Abby's young age, and they eventually split. Fortunately, Abby moved on to find love with Louis Dubell, away from cameras and critics alike. Her husband has faced a difficult battle with testicular cancer, but Abby is standing by his side and supporting him. Ronald Smith and Tiffany Franco-Smith shared a disastrous relationship on the other way that resulted in the two splitting after happily ever after. Tiffany blasted Ronald at every opportunity, while the South African man failed to live up to her standards of what she was seeking in a partner. Though Tiffany recently stated that she had reunited with Ronald for the sake of their children, he has made it clear that he found love away from Tiffany, and that the rumors are false. Ronald is dating Lauren Layden Fraser and appears absolutely smitten by the woman in his life. Erica Owens memorably dated Stephanie Matto before her fart jar selling days. As half of the first same-sex couple in the franchise, Stephanie quickly disappointed 90DF viewers by seemingly faking her attraction to Erica to get on camera. Stephanie continued to air her failed quest to find love on The Single Life while Erica has revealed that she is done with the franchise. The glitter-loving Australian fashionista has found love with her boyfriend, Chris. The couple appears to be very much in love and has refrained from insulting Stephanie, though she continues to bring up her brief relationship with Erica, which Erica doesn't like. Meanwhile, Stephanie claims she is privately seeing someone new. Related, 90 Day Fiancé Cast members who disappointed fans by not evolving American mother Ashley Martson was memorably upset when her younger Jamaican husband Jay Smith arrived in the United States and showed zero interest in being a step-parent. 90DF's Ashley caught Jay on Tinder shortly after their Las Vegas marriage and ended up finally divorcing him after filing for a separation three times. Ashley has since completely cut ties with TLC and chosen to live her life off-camera. Ashley now is the proud owner of her own hair salon in Pennsylvania. She has been happily dating a new man for the last several months, 
as evidenced by their many adorable photos together on her Instagram. American Devon Clegg became a franchise villain after airing her failed relationship with South Korean man, Ji Hoon Lee. However, she has moved on to find love with her boyfriend, Christopher Topher Park. 90 DFs Devon, who has been accused of withholding her son with Ji Hoon from his biological father, controversially refers to Christopher as the father of the young boy. Though many 90 Day Fiancé fans think that Ji Hoon should have access to his son, Devon has formed a new family with Christopher as she flaunts their relationship online.